What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. We're on my gaming laptop and I figured I'd give you a bonus video for this weekend, which is me messing around with a PS4 emulator called Shad PS4. Shad, S-H-A-D, PS4. Now this thing just started booting Bloodborne. You saw in the intro clips that it managed to get to the main menu, but the menu was red. I accidentally just booted again. I don't know what that weeb game was, but whatever it was, it's another game that works. And we just finished booting up One Piece World Red something or other. I don't know what it's actually called, but uh, the game is pretty weird nonetheless. I've never been interested in One Piece at all, but this was also the very first 3D game that Rayojinx booted. Now it is a little bit fast, the performance is beyond full speed, this is a 30 FPS game after all. So we're going to have to go into the NVIDIA control panel and lock the FPS to 30 from here on in. Now it's not always going to obey that V-Sync, but it is what it is, but we're going to do it anyway, okay? So I'm going to try to shut this down here real quick, I am doing a voiceover because my audio the first time was not very good and I didn't like that. I am using a wireless lapel microphone, so I'm gonna just do my best. So we're gonna dead head dead here and we're gonna cap this at 30. You can do this in the NVIDIA control panel. I don't know what the alternative is for AMD users, but whatever it is, we'll figure it out or you'll figure it out. Now this is on Linux, this emulator but I was in Windows playing Battlefield when I heard about this news. I've been trying to figure out how to get everything up and running so I can do a video for you guys. And I managed to do that. So I figured, why not? Let's give you an extra bonus video for the weekend. Now I know this video is a bit long, 12 minutes and 24 seconds, mostly just gameplay in this one piece game. So if you really want to, you can definitely, you know, just skip forward and check out what you need to do. You don't have to watch the whole thing. I don't really expect you to. Anyway, I could not maximize the window. As you can see, it looks like we're stuck here and I, that's fine and all. I will be switching over here very soon to full screen for you. I just want to show you that the emulator is of course real. Now, this is running on Vulcan and there is no audio at the moment. There is no controller support at the moment. I think they're going to integrate SDL3. Hopefully they use SDL because that's the best solution possible for any controller. This game is a bit weird where the uh, X button and the O button are swapped. So I get a little confused here from time to time. Anyway, we are going to adjust OBS very soon so you guys can have full screen. But in the meantime, I was accidentally pressing the wrong button. Uh, and that was stopping the recording from happening. I was stupid and set the keybinds wrong, but it is what it is. So let's get flying across town at a locked 30 FPS. I just, it just feels like it's going slightly over. This is just way too fast or the controller inputs that I did set were maybe just a little bit too sensitive. I, I can't really tell half the time. I used DS4 Windows to map the controls to the emulator. And we're about to go over to full screen here for you guys. So enjoy the full screen gameplay. Boom. Now with this, our duty is to find the inn. And unfortunately I had a bit of trouble doing that, but I added some really nifty, nice music in there for you. So hopefully you're enjoying that. All in all, this game is slightly entertaining. Why not, right? I mean, it does a pretty cool job at being all stretchy and stuff. You know, I used to have uh, Stretch Armstrong toys as a kid, and he's pretty much the walking weed version of that. I don't understand who he is or what he is. It doesn't really matter. He's a complete rip off of everything Koku did hate me all you want for that but it's the truth now we are going to skip ahead here to the to episode one we're about to fight a dragon i'm going to lose the first time how fun is that 
but the whole world's on fire and we're still having good performance we meaning that this thing is well optimized in the gpu department saying that uh this is a work in progress pull request that i'm using you can find it it's the newest one it's called graphical fixes or something like that and it allows for things to be much cleaner looking uh, there are still some issues like texture cache corruption issues just like there were back in the day with Rage Jinx, but it's still it's still pretty nifty now i did have a crash there because i tried to limit the performance of the emulator using obs it did not like that at all it doesn't like to be bossed around but let's beat up this meat by meat i mean dragon because he wants to eat the dragon looks like the cloth physics work pretty well bam i did not know i could dodge don't judge me. I, I didn't realize it because it just, I guess I wasn't really paying attention. But yeah, I learned my lesson eventually. What are your thoughts on a PS4 emulator and which games exactly would you want to play besides Bloodborne? My main focus would be Star Ocean. That game is absolutely amazing. And uh, Star Ocean 5 is one I've sort of played through on our pcs3 but i never got a chance to fully play through it it's very unfortunate so i would love to play that again and this time go full lead to the end uh because our pcs3 seems to have zero interest in fixing that game and it's unfortunate it's been in the same state for years now and i don't see any sign of it getting fixed because i have set a custom uh, alert that mentions anything Star Ocean. So yeah, there you go, I just died. But we were able to restart the fight and jump right back in, and this time, I learned to dodge. A little bit too late, but I still learned to dodge. Now, uh, I originally did the logo for Shad, but it eventually got changed. It was just meant to be like a temporary one, so there's some history that I have with this emulator. The emulator developer is a really cool, friendly guy, which is really nice. And uh, I believe he's Russian. I'm not really sure. Either that or Ukrainian. It's one of the two, or maybe not at all. But I do see some Russian chat in there. And the sister project of Shad PS4 is Panda 3DS, believe it or not. And if you actually look in the asserts file, the asserts.ccp or cpp, You'll notice there's a Yuzu trademark thing in there. I guess they pour out some code, which is completely normal for emulators to do to pour out code sometimes. Now, I don't want to bore you too much more with chatting, so enjoy the rest of this gameplay. And don't forget to subscribe, to like the video, share the video, and let me know of your opinions and thoughts. Remember, these are early days, so expect games to work more often. I'll try to do my best to keep you up to date with this emulator it is officially on follow so again don't forget to subscribe like the video i'll see you guys in the next one